Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of The Art of the Simon and Kirby Studio. Now this is hardback, obviously this is the cover I've just taken off because I don't want to damage the cover. Now it's by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Now this book came out in 2014 and it's from Comic, the Abrahams Comic Arts and they've been bringing out lots of good books. Now this is not the super size, massive IDW, but it's still pretty chunky size and it weighs a ton. I'm gonna show some of the pictures and there's also a lot of great text in there as well. So we've got all the various artists there. And there's some other details there, including, that way around so you can actually see it. There's all the various things that are included. And let's actually get the book itself. And it's got a lovely crack right across there. And you can see it's a, it is a chunky volume. It's very nicely done as well. You can see it's just beautifully. Now, of course, it's got the smudge marks there. Always away with pages. But the original artwork is obviously covered in smudge marks and everything else as well. So let's go through the book itself. And you've got some lovely picture there. But it's just amazing they kept all this work. I mean, it is so great. So much of this sort of period of artwork, obviously even the Silver Age period, lots of the artwork has completely vanished, all been destroyed. This, it's just great that it was all stored away, photographed, and well, wow. I mean, it's simply a pleasure to look through from start to finish. Mark Evanar, introduction. You've got a nice introduction there. You've obviously got some original work there. And see some covers, all the various ones there. Guilty Young Romance, uh, The Adventures of the Fly. Oh, I loved reading The Adventures of the Fly. That was quite often sort of one you'd find at the beach. We'd always pick up these sort of The Fly. Never ever heard, particularly heard of it. Obviously, I was a Marvel Comics fan, DC Comics fan. But these sort of one, the Archie, very unusual books. But then you've got these lovely, absolutely glorious now, they're not as big, obviously, as the massive IDW ones, but they're still pretty detailed, and you can really see the quality of the artwork. Obviously, it would be nice if it was, but then it would probably be impossible to virtually hold. So, it's... Now, there is a slight, really slight... There isn't... It's not super, super, super sharp. But at the same time, I guess... It, but it's... I mean, really, you can see the fine sort of... All the glue marks there... You've got the glue, you can really sort of see it very close. I mean, it's pretty amazing. I'm just, I love, I mean, to be honest, I, I can look at all of them. I love the bits where it's, there you've got the, the board has been slightly ripped there. You can see the, so that's the detail you can see here. So you can see it's not crystal clear, but it's virtually impossible, I think, to photograph anything to make it totally 100%, especially when it's a piece of paper where it's going to be slightly raised. You know, those sort of things. So you've got Stuntman. Got some more Stuntman there. Clumsy Jane. And again, this varies. So you've got Bill Drought. Drought? I'm not certain. My apologies for saying that. I'm completely wrong. And you've got obviously some lovely pencil work there as well. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful to see all that pencil work. I just totally admire all that. Just glorious. Now you've got lots of stories. Some are better than others. I must admit, I've read a few of them. Not all of them, I must admit. I'm, I've just been dipping into it. I would sort of just go in, oh, that's quite good. Start reading the story. There's sort of mystery, there's sort of a whole mix of different stories. Some superhero, some this and some that. Um, some horror ones that would just equally be sort of EC. You always wonder one, what Jack Kirby and Joe Simon would have been with EC Comics. And you've got this sort of wonderful horror. Well, it's... But it's a horror story, as much as it's just exactly sort of... I mean, that is just absolutely beautiful. And you can also see, obviously, all the, the white in there where they've obviously corrected things there. Boys Ranch. Absolutely glorious. Now, you can definitely see occasionally, there's some panels. I mean, this one, classic case in point, just go up close. Now, maybe you can't see it on the screen. But you can, you can see that it's slightly imperfection. You can see the pixelization. You can really see it's not 100%, but it's still absolutely brilliant. And I say it does vary, and you've also got some, look at that beautiful color as well. You've got the, the beefer. What that means? 
No idea what that means, however. So I've made many expressions that uh, it's your police station and you've obviously got the police station, the alibi. To now there's not, not every single bit has got complete stories. So it's, it's some of it, you've just got this, where you've got one bit, and then obviously it goes on to the next bit there. And you've got tough beat, that's obviously it. And also, sometimes, of course, it varies in terms of quality. So you've got that, look at that, it's really sort of gone, very faded, and then you've got that bit. And it's, uh, so clearly things have changed, things have fallen off, things have changed, disappeared over the time. Foxhole, obviously some more ones. And again, like I say, you've got this. Foxhole. And that doesn't have a story of that, so it's an lesson. You've got Hot Fox. There's the next one there. Weekend for three, and you've got here some obviously a bit more again. Now, I love all the bits with the writing. It's always a busy craft, and you've got some writing at the top, and sometimes it's just cut off. And you wonder what was said sometimes in there. Or just written, so. And you've got Young Romance there. And then book length love novel, complete in love, Bride of the Star. And you've got this one as well. I mean, just this page after page after page of absolutely beautiful artwork. This is just a masterpiece of a book, The Old Hulk. Not the new Hulk, of course, but The Old Hulk. Again, some of these definitely like sort of EC science fiction ones. I mean, this is just in many ways, when I'm looking through this, I'm thinking it would be wonderful if IDW would bring out a book like this, as well as obviously their massive tomes, but if they did a reduction one, which of course they have with the artisan editions. This is more like an artisan edition, actually. That sort of size. Maybe, yeah. Bit, slightly bit bigger, I think. But still, you've just got the fly there. You've got uh, the spider, which obviously uh, slightly up in the Spider-Man story. And many more, the menace of the micro men, and so on, so on. I mean, this is just, and then it's got a complete list at the back of all the various credits and notes, as well as some sort of notes about the making and the production of the book and all that sort of stuff. So this book is an absolute joy from start to finish. So you just cannot beat a book like this. This is just page after page of just truly superb artwork from a variety of different artists. So it did totally without a shadow of a doubt. I don't know why I didn't uh, buy it many years, many years ago, because this is book. Just I was looking through and suddenly I thought, hmm, you know what? I haven't got that one. And that just sounds amazing. And it was, and it is. So uh, totally, totally lovely. Brilliant book. And there you go. Back to the, I didn't want to ruin this. So it's sort of, unfortunately when you've got the cover on, you saw. Sort of, showing it like that. And I know some people will turn around and say, well, why not use a camera from above? Well, I haven't got a camera from above. I haven't got that rig. So my apologies for that. See, maybe one day I will have one. I will do it all nicely, like from above. But until then, it's just gonna be me holding up the book and just showing the first thing. And like I say, this is just a great one. Get it now, because of course, like always with these books, they go out of print and before you know it, £400 was marking, and you think, mm, brilliant book.